What am I going to do with all these craft supplies? Stick around and find out. Hi, Bestie. Today we're going to take a bunch of stuff in my craft room and make unconventional wrapping with it. I've got this book that I use for crafting and then I'm just going to take all these pages out and I'm going to use my little tape roller and that's always in my Amazon store by the way in case you're interested. I use it a lot in this video. Super handy. You can use regular tape too. Anyway, I'm going to put all these book pages together different directions, uh, upside down, right side up, you name it, until I get a big enough piece to wrap a gift. And so I'm just going to keep doing the taping until I get that. Super easy and then we'll just wrap it just like it's a present with wrapping paper. There's my big huge piece. Doesn't that look cool? Now I'm just going to put the gift that I'm going to wrap right on top of it and I'm just going to take the usual long side, put the other one over the top. I'm going to use my little tape roller underneath and just attach it. I'm sure you all know how to wrap a present so I'll just let you watch and I'll go a little faster than normal. And now that it's all wrapped, I'm going to take some Dollar Tree ribbon and I'm just going to wrap it around like you would normally tie a bow around a present. And what I'm going to do though instead is I'm going to tie a knot and then I'm going to dovetail the two ends. And then I'm going to embellish just a little bit. I'm going to stick my tails down and I've got a little bag of scrap things that I keep from picks and things and I'm just going to attach a few of those, stick them under the ribbon and then put the little shiny berries right on top with some hot glue and this one is done. And I just think this came out so pretty. You can wrap all your presents in book pages. It's amazing. So economical too. Have you ever wrapped presents with book pages? Let me know. For my next unconventional Dollar Tree wrapping hack, I have a placemat that I bought for crafting and I hadn't used it. Now these two dish towels I did get at the Dollar General, but they also sell really cute ones at Dollar Tree. And I bought those to craft with and I just haven't used them. So they're just taking up room in my stash. So I'm gonna use the Farm Fresh Christmas Tree dish towel and the placemat. So I'm gonna turn this gift on the back and I'm gonna put the whole placemat on it. I'm gonna use my little tape roller. Then I'm going to turn it over. I'm just going to push up those sides and attach them with the tape. And then I'm going to take my dish towel, basically do the same thing, just attach it to the top. And I like those little like tassels at the bottom, so I'll make sure they stay the way they are. And then on the other side, I have a lot of excess, so I'm just going to kind of fold that in and tuck it under. And I'm just going to attach the little ends so that they don't go anywhere with my tape roller. Of course, you can use regular tape anytime you need to. I just love this little thing. Then I've got this really pretty buffalo check black and white wired ribbon. I'm just going to tie it around and I'm going to adjust it so it's not over the top of that cute little square farm fresh Christmas trees. I'm going to tie a knot and I'm going to dovetail the ends like I did before and because it's a wired ribbon I'm just going to kind of fan them out. I'm going to go back into my little scrap bag and get some cute little silver branches and a little bit of frosted pine branches and just really make it pretty and put a little pine cone right in the center. And that's all there is to it. Let me know what you think. For the next unconventional gift wrap pack, I'm going to take some yarn from the Dollar Tree and then this is also the craft paper you can get there. And I've just got a box here I'm going to use to wrap. I'm just going to wrap this the normal way you would wrap a present. I'll use my tape roller again and then I will, you know, tuck up the sides and tape them as well. Once my presents all wrapped, I decided to take the really pretty kind of sage green and white yarn. I'm going to pull two ends together and then I'm going to hot glue that to the back. And then I'm just going to start wrapping around the long way on the present, just crisscross all the way around, like any way you want. There's no rhyme or reason. It's just going to look pretty just because of what it is. When I think that I've got enough, I'm going to go back to the back and I'm going to hot glue the last little pieces down. And then I'm just going to trim that right off so that it lays flat. Then I'm going to take the yarn going the short way around. I'm going to do the same thing, hot glue the ends, wrap it around until I think it looks pretty, and then hot glue the two ends to the back and trim that off. 
What an easy way to wrap a present and it looks so pretty. Now that we have our yarn, we can add a couple of embellishments on the top. I'm gonna to go back into my little pick scraps and I'm gonna add some little greenery to the top, one on each side of the center. And then I'm just gonna add some little red berries right in the middle. Isn't that cute? So easy and so fast. Would you believe I have beanies in my craft stash from Dollar Tree? So I'm gonna take one of them so I can wrap this cute little hot chocolate thing. And I've got a ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna take the beanie and I'm gonna put it right over the top. So you can see how it folds up. I'm gonna take the ribbon and I'm gonna put it right above that fold. And I'm gonna tie a bow, a shoestring bow. Boy, this cannot be easier. But it's so cute. And not only do they get the little hot chocolate canister, they get a beanie too. And I just think that's super cute. and I'm gonna dovetail the ends of the bow. And then I'm just gonna add a couple of little greenery picks right in there from my little scrap stash and some more red berries right in the center. And then this one is done as easy as can be and I think it's so cute. Let me know what you think. I had a bunch of doilies in my stash because I did a whole video on doilies. I'll link that down in the description box. And I've got this cute little mug. I'm gonna put some candies in it and a little loose tea holder. And I'm gonna take three of the larger doilies. And I'm just gonna take my tape roller and attach all the little edges. And then that will become the bottom. I'll turn it over and that way the attached side will be underneath and I'll put my mug right in the middle. I'm gonna pull up the edges or the roundest part of the doily. And I'm literally gonna take a piece of red fabric. I'm gonna snip the end and rip the rest of it down so it's really nice and cute. I'm just gonna tie that around this and that will hold the whole thing together. I'm gonna do a knot and then dovetail the ends. And then I'm gonna take two of the small doilies and pinch the middle. And I'm gonna put them in like you would with tissue paper in a bag and just so you can't see what's inside of the mug. And I just think that was super easy. I've got these little pieces that I save and I'm just going to stick the leaves underneath and glue the berries to the center. And that is it. I think this one is so cute and festive with the red and white. I think that would look so pretty under the tree. And that was just about as easy as it could ever get. You have to let me know if this is something you would even try. I have a lot of these little dust towels from the Dollar Tree and I thought, you know what? I've got this remote I'm giving as a gift and it's gonna go to a guy. And I thought a dust cloth would be great for the car. So I thought, what a great idea. And I'm just gonna fold this up like a gift. I'm not gonna do any tape on this one at all because I'm gonna use the ribbon to seal it. Kind of sticks to itself pretty well. So see how I've got it all situated like a wrap present. I'm gonna take my Dollar Tree ribbon and just gonna put that around and hold those sides up. So that way when I wrap it around, it seals the whole thing and now I've got this super cute it looks like it's wrapped in snow which I think is adorable I just think this is such an easy and cute way you could wrap all kinds of gifts with this because it's a pretty decent sized dust towel and that's one of the things that was really nice about it I'm just gonna make a little shoestring bow here and then of course I will trim and dovetail the ends of the ribbon and then again, I will embellish with some more little scraps from greenery picks that I had that are Christmassy, just to make it look so cute and so festive. And of course, I will not glue anything to the actual dust towel. I'm sticking the greenery under the ribbon and then putting the berries right on the ribbon itself. Let me know what you think about this one too. For this unconventional Dollar Tree wrapping hack, I'm gonna use a Dollar Tree scarf. I'm gonna take the scarf, I want the little tassels at the end to show, so I'll fold them back and that's where I will start my wrapping. And I'm just gonna wrap it around until I get the whole thing covered. And then I'm gonna use my little tape roller just in strategic places to make sure that it stays. It's not really gonna go anywhere the way I'm doing it, but I think that this will just help a little bit. You could also use ribbon as well to make this stay. I'm going to pull back the tassels on the other piece too. So I'm just going to kind of fold under the sides like you do when you gift wrap. And that's where I'm going to add a little bit of the tape roller. And that just holds it really nicely in place. 
If you enjoy DIYs on a budget, please consider subscribing to my channel and then turning on the notification bell so you won't miss out whenever I upload a new video. Now I'm going to take this cute little silver flower and some greenery picks that I had left over and I'm going to attach them. I had to add, use a little bit of scotch tape on this one because it doesn't lay flat. So I just rolled it up to make it like two-sided tape and stuck that right in the center with the greenery. And that was it. That is all it took for this one. How cute. I have so much fabric in my stash and a lot of it comes from Dollar Tree. So I got this cute little mug. I've got a hot chocolate little canister and some candy canes and I'm gonna choose which fabric I wanna use. And this one I had already used before so I thought I'll just take the piece I have left over. And I just literally put the mug in the center. I pull up the four corners and then I'm just gonna tape them to the top of the little canister and that will hold them in place. And it creates little pleats as you go around. I've got another ribbon from the Dollar Tree that I'm gonna use to tie all the way around this. And I'm just gonna make a knot. And then I'm going to dovetail the ends of my ribbon. And then I'm gonna take two candy canes and crisscross them in the front, because I think that's so adorable. But then the center looked a little bit empty. So I decided to add another little teeny candy cane and glue it right in the center. And then I'm gonna add a couple of silver branches just to make it a little bit sparkly as well. And that's all it takes for this one. It's so cute and I hope you like it. I have a lot of Dollar Tree deco mesh because I always think I'm going to make wreaths and then I don't. So I decided I'm going to use some of it. I've got these cute little toys from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to put them together to show you how this will look wrapped up. Once I have them placed the way I think they will lay the flattest, I'm going to take the first piece of deco mesh and I'm literally going to just hot glue that little dot right onto that plastic. It'll come right off afterwards, so no worries there. And then I'm just gonna start wrapping this roll of deco mesh and it's just really bright color. And it'll look really pretty under the tree. Then I have another roll of this decorative mesh that looks like it has snow on it. And I'm literally gonna do the exact same thing with that one until I get to the end. And of course I always save those little rolls in the middle because you can use those for crafts. You never know, right? <laughs> Then I have this one piece left over from a project that I did a while back and it's long enough to make a bow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tie it around and then make a cute little bow and then I will fluff the loops of the bow because this mesh really looks pretty when you fluff it out. And look, that's so easy. And then I've got these red shiny little branch picks and I'm gonna stick them in there and that is it. This one was super easy and very cute too. I love to decoupage and I buy all kinds of napkins, but I only use one or two of them and then I've got tons of napkins left. So I thought, why not use this adorable Santa jacket napkin to wrap a present? So I'm gonna use my little tape roller and it's not big enough to go all the way around, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom first and then I'll cut the piece exactly that I wanna see on the top for the very top. So there's the piece I want on the top. It's the one with the shiny buckle and, and button. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hot glue the first side of that on, and then I will trim the rest of that around because I don't need the rest of that napkin there now. Now I could have just attached the nap two napkins together, then it would have been big enough to wrap, but I didn't think of that till afterwards. So that might be an easier way to do this. Either way, this is coming out super cute. And I'm just gonna tack down the corners to make sure that the whole top doesn't move around. I've got some more Dollar Tree ribbon and I'm just gonna wrap two pieces around one side just for a little decoration. And I'm just gonna use the tape and snip the ends and just put that on there and they'll be two side by side. And then I'm gonna do one more piece kind of around the top to cover up any raw edges that were left behind. I've got this cute little gold pitberry garland. I'm just gonna snip a piece and I'm gonna wrap the two sides, two ends around my finger and leave a flat piece in the middle. I'm gonna tuck it under the ribbons and that way I'll have some cute little curly cue pitberry garland right on there. 
and then I'm going to add a little greenery right in the center and hot glue that on. This was another very easy one. Just think of all the napkins you have if you like to do decoupaging that never get used after the initial project. So this is one way to go through your stash, clear some of it out, and wrap your presents. Win-win in my opinion. Be sure to let me know which one was your favorite. I think the book pages are my favorite. I'd love to hear what yours is though. Thank you so much for watching. You are a blessing to me. If you enjoyed this video, I've got another one on the screen. Go ahead and watch that next. And if you do, I will see you there. Bye.